what's up guys it's unremarkable here and I'm here with another set of items from Japan Creek uh, June 2016 um, I'm going to do uh, the three items I'm going to do in this episode are the uh, the apple drink I should probably get the booklet actually one sec <laughs> I thought I'd put it back in there, but it's right here. Uh, I completely forget what exactly. I think it's just apple soda. Yep, it's just Aomori apple soda. And then uh, I have one, two, three, four items in here. How about we do one other item in this one, and then I'll save three for the final. Okay, so. This is going to be the uh, Aomori apple soda. This is what it looks like. There we go. Got the autofocus on the camera working. Um, nice little can. There is a bottle return here in Michigan, but I don't think any stores nearby will take that. Instantly smell it. Wow. It literally smells like fresh apples. Very fresh, sour apples. Um, I'd say maybe like a, I, I don't know. I, I haven't tried a ton of apples. I know there's hundreds and hundreds of variety or uh, types of them. Um, this is the Aomori. I've never had it before. But uh, it smells like, uh, it reminds me of... Um, uh, Fuji apples if you've ever had Fuji apples that's what it reminds me of so let's go ahead and try this it smells really good so and it tastes just like apples there's no difference between uh, drinking this my, and minus the carbon in it drinking this and um, eating apples. Th this literally tastes just like apples juiced and then some uh, club soda added to it or something. You know, it, it's it's pretty good. I, I would definitely uh, drink that again. And I did notice that in my during my uh, Okashi salon video, I did not rate the video or the uh, Okashi. Given there's really not much to rate, it's just a strawberry candy. It's like a starburst. Uh, I know I didn't rate rate it there, but oh, the can if I'm rating on the candy alone, uh, I would rate it like a six. It's not it's not really good, but it's not like bad. Uh, and then uh, just the overall DIY do it yourself kit, just like doing the whole uh, hair and stuff. I I would give it an eight. It's fun. It's you know just a nice little fun thing to do. If you don't want to just eat your candy, you want to play with your food for a little bit. That's it's a nice little fun thing to do. Okay, the uh, what I'm opening up right now is actually the uh, what is this? The chocolate crepe, uh, little chocolate crepe things right here, and uh, they smell like cocoa pebbles. I'll tell you that. Okay, so let's see. Ooh. A little crunchy. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, they're a little. What are they? Soaked in chocolate, mini chocolate. Okay, so they're like mini chocolate crepes that they say they remind them of. It's something covered in chocolate. I'm gonna go ahead and try it. This is what it looks like. It's like a little uh, tube of uh, something covered in chocolate. Let's try it out. Very, very chocolatey. <laughs> um, it literally tastes like Cocoa Pebbles or a Cocoa Rice Krispies. Like a chocolate cereal. Um, that is pretty good in that. It does say you would finish in one sitting. I definitely would. But I definitely want to make... Ow. 
I definitely want to make those last. Those are really good. Um, so yeah, uh, the last, oh, I derped out for a moment. I th for some reason I thought I, I am missing an item still. I'm missing the uh, barbecue chips, uh, the meat chips, and uh, I'm not sure if I am going to end up getting them. But hopefully I do. I, I never did get the uh, macadamia Oreos that I had sent about. And it's not that they're... It's not they're bad. Yeah, it does suck that I get to... I, I miss out on a couple things. But, you know... Things like this, I know it's supposed to be them having their quality and stuff. And consistency of uh, getting out the items. Um, they are busy... People, I'm, I'm sure they're busy people, and I can understand me missing an item and a couple other people missing items. They have a section on their site where you can even ask for uh, if there's an issue with a missing item or something was damaged. And they, under, I'm sure they understand that. I do wish their customer support was a little more reliable, but I mean, it does say on there it's limited supply, and if they run out of something, and I don't like say I don't send back right away, which I I did I sent the day of but uh they may not have that item in stock anymore like after they pack all the boxes and uh I'm fine with that I do enjoy Japan crate and my I do enjoy trying the whole thing in general it's re it's a really fun experience and uh I do want to say this near uh just nearby me a new uh, sushi store or a su sushi restaurant opened up and there's really none nearby me, uh, not within like 10, 15 miles, so about a 20-minute drive normally. Uh, but one opened up about five minutes away from me called Oyaki Sushi. And uh, I did get something from there not too long ago, and it is great. And uh, maybe I'll do a review of their food on here. I don't know if that's something anyone would want uh they do have like different kind of rolls there that i've never seen given i've never been to a sushi restaurant but i could do a review of them on here some of their food and just uh try it out and then i mean i know there's people who do uh food reviews i'm doing food reviews so why not do a restaurant it wouldn't hurt but uh that's all for this episode I do have three more items, so that'd be one more video out of this. And I am coming up for some other ideas for this uh, channel. I will be working on doing uh, some Overwatch videos, uh, just to add a little bit of variety to the to uh, my channel because there's not much being uploaded due to just having one crate uh, coming once a month. So that's only a couple videos, really. Um, so I will try to get some Overwatch. On here and I'm going to start streaming overwatch as well uh, a couple days a week once I get the schedule I'll put it on my YouTube and I'll have a uh, twitch set up for it as well and the, the schedule will be on there uh, I do still I don't know I'm slow on getting the Twitter going I'm not a fan of Twitter I know I should be because it's a good way of talking to people and uh, just being involved in a community but uh my experiences on Twitter have not been the best. I'll say that much. So, but uh, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and be sure to leave some comments, uh, leave some suggestions for me. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Later.